Do you want new patients or more patients in your practice coming from social media? If so, you need to change your social media content strategy. Today, we're going to be talking about that one thing that you must change within your dental practices marketing strategy for social media to really attract new patients. Hey, welcome to another episode of Digital Dental Marketing Made Easy with myself, Natalia Poras. For those of you who do not know me, I am the founder of MP Marketing, which is a digital dental marketing agency. And you are in the right place if you're a dentist or a specialist and you want to learn more about social media and how it could help you grow your practice. Today, we're talking about one of the biggest changes in, I would say, dental marketing strategy in general, in terms of your content strategy to make sure you are doing the right thing on social media to be attracting new patients via social media. So let's get started with what is that one big change that you should be implementing right now? So that change is to be using social media to build authority and credibility as an expert in your field as a dentist. So how do you do that is something that I want to cover and why is it important for a dentist? So stay until the end of this video. I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to shift your content strategy and specific things that you need to be doing in order to change that. So why is it important for patients or for you to be able to be attracting patients to be building authority? Authority equates to credibility. And there's really three main reasons behind why this is something that is very important for you to be able to shift within your content strategy. Number one is patients are looking to be seen by an expert. So you need to be positioning yourself as an expert in the treatment that they are seeking you out for. Number two, they wanna make sure that they can trust you either with their own oral health care or their families for that matter. Number three, they wanna be able to see results so that in their mind, they could see more predictable outcomes of the treatment again that they are seeking you out for. So I am going to be explaining the kind of content shifts that you could be making right away within your social media strategy to make sure that you are building authority. Okay, so are you ready to take notes of the different content shifts that you need to be making right now within your clinic? So number one is I want you to be making more procedural videos. So those are maybe fast forwarded videos of a procedure that you are really good at and let's face it, we want to make sure that it's not too gory, not too bloody, so that you could actually put it up on social media. So number two, I want you to be using a lot of before and after photo cases. If you can, every third or fourth post should be a B and A post about a case. Also, what you want to make sure that you're doing here is you are not just simply using the smile retracted photos try and see if you could get some photos that are of a regular smile of maybe if you cannot get patient consent maybe you go now nose under if you can get patient consent use the whole face for those photos third thing that i want you to be really working on in terms of a change within your content strategy is getting more reviews online we're talking about two places that i would really focus your time that would be on facebook and google my business once you are getting those reviews make sure to be sharing them on your social media accounts if you're also getting reviews on other platforms such as RateMD and elsewhere you could also be sharing them on social media this is going to be what i like to call social proof Fourth thing that I want you to be sharing and changing in terms of your content strategy is showcasing actual results of your patients. So once the treatment is done, for example, for a small design or for veneers, you want to make sure that you are actually showcasing your patient, your patient's smile at the end of that, right? So we talked about before and afters, but I'm also talking just about your patient smiling beautifully within a photo and showcasing that if you can. And fifth thing that you might want to be doing more of or shifting your strategy towards is educating your patients, telling them, responding their questions that they have about different treatments. Sometimes you're going to have to repeat yourself many times. People oftentimes forget that not everyone is watching all of your content so it's okay if you have to repeat yourself or answer the same questions in different ways make sure though that you are educating your patient base 
So there you have it. Those are the five different content shifts that I want you to be thinking about and making within your content strategy right now to to be able to attract new patients. If you have any other ideas of things that you think can help you build your authority, let me know in the comments below. So we have actually put together something that is meant for dentists who are getting started with social media or who want to make a change, a shift in things because you've been scrambling, because you've been trying to make sure that you get the best out of social media for your practice, but you haven't been able to do so. We have put together something called the Social Media Starter Kit for Dentists. And it is full of everything that we have learned from our experience with our own clients in there. So we have a guide for Facebook, we have a guide for Instagram, we have downloadables that you could actually customize for your own practice. We have captions, we have photos. It's everything from A to Z that is going to help you make a shift, a change, so that you could start seeing success for your practice via social media. I will see you next time, same time, same place. Bye for now.